Hey guys, Sean here from Bud's BMW in Oakville. I'm going to demonstrate today gesture control on this 2021 BMW X5. So let's take a look. So on the interior of this 2021 BMW X5 is I'm going to demonstrate gesture control. So the first thing we'll look at, I'm going to move the camera to the top. And if you see those lights flashing, that's the sensor that reads your hand. So what it does is it reads your hand when you're trying to adjust the volume, change your different tracks, uh, or a few different options, which I'll show in this video. So what we'll do right now is position our arm. So you want your hand to be at screen level to uh, the iDrive screen. And the first function I'm going to do is put the volume up. So I'm going to put one finger out and basically turn my hand. And you're seeing my finger turn. If I want to put the volume down, I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. And you'll see it kind of move and it picks up really quick after one rotation it'll pick up your finger and start adjusting the volume the uh, next command i want to do is say you don't like this track for whatever reason i call it the hitchhiker command so you're going to put one thumb out to the to the left and go back and go back right and you, when you hear that audio chime it just confirms that every the setting has been changed flip it the other way and you'll see it change there as well. So you have those functions there. Another function you have is a two finger function. So what that does is it gives you the ability to customize a few different options. So let's put the volume up a bit. Um, and I wanna mute the volume, for example. So I'm gonna put two fingers out and it's muted the volume. If I wanna put the audio back on, two fingers back on, and you've uh, put the volume on, off, on, off. Again, that's completely programmable. And another programmable option is the rock paper uh, function. So you're gonna put your hand in the fist, open, close, open. And what it's done now is it's taken me, so what, what I do it right now is have it programmed to enter addresses. In this case, obviously this is where it's gonna take me to. But if I go home, go to cars, settings, general settings and gesture control, you'll see a different couple different functions. So obviously you can enable gesture control if you're gonna use it or if you don't wanna use it. Um, I have the, the tips on, so if anybody's test driving the vehicle, they can kind of see tips on this. And audio confirmation, just confirming your, whatever you wanted to do worked. <clears throat> so the first one is uh, the two fingers, like I mentioned. I have a program on mute and play, but you can turn off the control display. You can put your guidance for home, go to your recent calls, notifications, voice control and recognition, music recognition. You have a second function and you're seeing it populate there. So open, close, open, or close, open, close. Doesn't really matter. And again, same customizable option. So you can play, control display, uh, guidance home, any of those functions that you wanna do there. All right, guys. So that was a quick overview on the gesture control functionality. If you have any questions or want to learn more information about any of the BMWs we have, my name is Sean, I'm at Bud's BMW, and I can be reached at 647-554-4663. Have a great day.